Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to work with collection container, one of the another seeded component of Oracle Redwood. And let's look at it, what it does and how do we configure it and what are the actions we can enable with that collection container component. So basically collection container provides a toolbar. So if you see in this picture, we have a toolbar, okay? That toolbars provide a lot of functions which are grouped together as well as the collection component for the toolbar. So you have various, uh, this is like a complete toolbar, toolbar where you can add multiple uh, multiple functions. The functions maybe you are like, you would like to add a new object, add a new record. You would like to add multiple primary actions like one action maybe, you know, uh, the get more information or the get manager or the selected employee, something like this. Export, you would like to export the record. Sort, you would like to sort the records and you would like to select all the records. So there are multiple informations that you can that you can provide here. So let's look at it and see how this can be enabled. Let's go and let's see. All right, so here, this is my application. And here, go to this application here. This is the application that we have developed. And here, you, you, what do you want? You would like to go on the top and you would like to create a complete toolbar here. So go to the structure and here on top of the list view, I want the toolbar. So for that, you have a component called collection container. So let's take that collection container and put on the top of the list view and make sure it is list views under that. So put this list view under collection container. So here you can see collection container. Now, if you go to the properties here, let's collapse that. When you select the collapse collection container, you will see display options. We have an option called add, delete, manage columns, record selector, and an export. If you want to enable any one of them, you simply keep, keep clicking on the on, on. And as soon as you click on, it will show you the corresponding action, add, delete, manage columns. You can see, you can see the manage columns here from where you can manage which column you wanted to show and which is not. Record selector, using which you can select the records, multiple records. Export, using which you can export the complete record. So you can do everything. Apart from that, you also have uh, functional actions like primary actions. So you can add more actions here if you want. So click on a plus button, which will be like an array. So you can click here and there you can add the label, let's say more information. And you have to add an ID, let's say info. And here you can see more information has been added. And then you can say uh, on, off, and disabled if you don't want it. And you can also use FX to make display dynamically. And then if it is, if you wanted to put some icon, you can do that also. Similarly, you can add one more. Let's say get manager. Let's say manager. So if you want to, the, to get the manager detail of an employee, you can do that also. So apart from that, you have more called context, context options. So context option will allow you to add more actions. So for example, I would like to promote my user. Promote, let's say promote. You can promote the user. Let's say one more. Add salary. Let's say salary. So this is how you can keep adding more and more component and you can see the complete toolbar of different different functions are available and now you can generate on event. So how when you click on a collection component container again, if you go to the event and you say event listener, you can see SP add. 
When you click on this plus button, this event will be generated. When you click on the more information, this is like a primary actions, primary actions. Secondary action, which is delete. Export, when you click on export, that will be triggered. SP table is scrolled offset chain. So there are various things that you can enable here. So this toolbar is actually will give you multiple options which you can use to perform multiple actions. And you can see all, all are in a responsive manner also, you see. So that is the benefit of using inbuilt Redwood component, which will give you multiple functionalities along with the responsiveness. So this is how you can use collection container guides. I hope you find this useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.